I'm from another country, from another dimension, another frequency. I invent ways to insult humanity cleverly, directly, and indirectly. And a truck driver taught me this song. And biologically, I arranged with the idea that God knows nothing is really sacred, not even the beloved vocabulary and juxtapositions of the old gray master himself. I'm doing extra geography. I'm a push him into the sea kind of guy, actually, just to be honest. And some love to overuse language with uh, passionate sensitivities and all of this kind of alliteration. Yet, the same conclusion could be matched by an Algerian immigrant chugging a codeine cough syrup and spitting out of two simple words. But that's kind of what we love about the French, isn't it? Converting biology into the little death. I, too, am always ready to harvest mussels. I, too, am always ready to fall in love with the French, like I told you. But... <laughs> yes. Muscles in the new avant-garde, he warned you, were cast by yesterday's shadows. And the great god synthesizer drained all the fluids from your fucking organs. And you accepted the inferiority of tenure and clung to that lifetime investment knowing you too were off course as you stubbornly sailed from Mount Analog. And the loneliness now dominates your crystal atom and your laundromats are now a province of Haiti. On street corners, extinct species of giant birds howl all night in the giants of Cameroon. And the existential daydream morphed into a nightmare of giant mollusks following you home. Cleanliness is an illusion, a lie. What you believe to be your conscience is filthy and harboring the deepest of raw stench. There will never be a great poet known in all homes ever again because you've allowed their cigarettes to be extinguished by law. I'm very disappointed in having so much trouble understanding how obedient you have become and how orgasmic continuance could be hijacked by the great Greek god Mediocrates who invented the color beige. <laughs> but the solitude... form of cynicism, but I'm not cynical. Whether or not that means I wear underwear or don't isn't the point. But then again, I never trust happiness. The words you employ are no longer poetic, but a kind beating of the dead horse of propaganda. The illiterate are now turning into the Maghrebi mystics. That's right. The civil wars we will discuss later at the Apache discotheque, after everyone has been butchered. For now I will crucify all discourse, that which is understood only by a fraction of the marsupial population. I am the scar on your phantom limbs. The lucidity in your pants is bone dry, and no longer is there a soul to fetch the butter. You could have been a contender. You could have been somebody. Oh, but <laughs> the solitude. <laughs> <laughs> The 
Sorry.